Fat loss is the easiest part for most people, but maintaining that fat loss is another story. According to research, over 85% people gain the weight back within the first year of losing that weight. In this video, I'm going to share what maintenance truly means and how to maintain your results for the rest of your life. Hey guys, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to share what maintenance truly is and how to maintain your fat loss results so that you don't gain all the weight back that you worked so hard for. So before we get into all that, if you are new here, welcome. I am Nisha. I'm a fitness trainer, mom of two in my 40s. I have helped over hundreds of women get lean, decrease their overall body fat percentage while feeling their strongest and the healthiest versions of themselves. So if that is something you are looking to achieve, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So before we get into all the details as to how to maintain your results for the rest of your life, let's spend a little bit of time understanding what maintenance truly is. I believe you're going to benefit from understanding this piece of the puzzle before we dive into all the tips that you need to implement in your life to continue to maintain those results. So to demonstrate what maintenance truly is, I'm going to walk you through an example of a female who has lost over 35 pounds. Let's open up Google and type TDEE. -E. On this calculator, I need you to plug in following numbers. So before this person lost weight, let's say hypothetically they were 160 pounds and they were 42 years old and five foot four and they are going to participate in moderate exercise which is about three to five times a week once you hit that calculate button it's going to give you a number and this number represents how many calories they need to consume every single day to maintain their current weight so if this person was to maintain their current weight they need to be eating approximately 2125 calories every single day. Please understand that these calculators online are all rough estimates. They are not 100% accurate. In order to make sure these numbers work, you need to live those numbers out and you need to continue to adjust and monitor your progress along the way. That is what I do when I coach my clients. So let's say this person's goal was to lose weight. So they took away 20% of their calories, which was approximately 425 calories that leaves them with about 1700 calories per day let's just assume they ate those calories every single day to lose weight after three to four months this individual has lost over 35 pounds so now in order to maintain this 35 pounds fat loss they need to recalculate their maintenance calories because a smaller body requires a lot less calories to maintain the weight so now let's go back to TDEE calculator and plug in the new numbers. We're going to enter their age, which is 42, their height, 5 foot 4. Let's just say they lost 35 pounds. So now their new weight is 125 pounds. And let's also assume they're going to continue to participate in moderate exercise for three to five times a week. So now if you hit the calculate button again, it's going to spit out a number. And now this gives you 1,879 calories. This means that in order to maintain their current weight at 125 pounds, this is how many calories this individual will need in order to maintain that weight. So there is a difference of approximately 246 calories. Again, you need to live these numbers out. One thing I wanted to mention before we talk about all the tips on how to maintain the results, I just wanted to quickly say that going back to the previous example, during a calorie deficit, this individual ate about 1700 calories to lose 35 pounds. And now their maintenance calories are roughly 1879. Let's just say to make the numbers 
easy. There's a difference of about 200 calories more in maintenance. So what happens is when people go back to their maintenance calories, the food volume increases. And when that happens, your weight goes up on the scale. This weight on the scale does not mean that you're gaining the fat or the weight back. This weight on the scale usually comes from the higher food volume. When we eat more carbohydrate, our glycogen storage goes up. So this weight fluctuation is absolutely normal. You will not maintain your lowest weight on the scale when you go back to your maintenance calories. So during maintenance, if you have fluctuation between two to five pounds, understand that it's absolutely normal. And that fluctuation is simply coming from having more food volume in your system. So now let's dive into some of the things that you need to implement and adopt in order to continue to maintain your fat loss. So the number one thing you need to do is to calculate your maintenance calories. So once you have that baseline of how many calories you need to eat to maintain your results, you're going to either continue to track your calories for a little bit until you understand that you're eating at your new maintenance calories. Those of you who don't want to track, you need to make sure that you're eating the same way that you did when you were trying to lose the weight, except that you have a little bit of more uh, room for some calories. And in order to ensure that you're not gaining the weight back, if you're not tracking, is you're going to weigh yourself at least every other day or every day for the next two to three weeks. So you can either weigh yourself or continue to measure your waist and your hip ratio, or you can continue to see how your clothes fit. So if your waist to hip ratio is staying relatively the same and your weight is staying relatively the same, that means now you're eating at your maintenance calories. And if you feel that you're gaining weight back, that means you're not at your maintenance calories, you are eating at surplus. So you need to readjust and reevaluate your daily caloric intake. Third thing you need to do is continue to maintain sustainable, healthy habits around what type of food you are eating on a daily basis. Understand that maintenance is not the time to get sloppy with your eating habits or your physical activity. Maintenance is still an effort. Continue to build your plate around protein, carbohydrate, and veggies. You still need to fill up majority of your plate with whole foods. When you consume whole foods, your body is nutritionally meeting all its needs. And when you start to replace those whole foods with more processed foods, those foods tend to be higher in caloric density and they're also not going to meet your nutritional needs so you will always feel hungry and crave more food you still have to be mindful when you are eating out or indulging in these processed foods that they're going to get you back into surplus so one of the ways to avoid overeating at a restaurant is having protein or some sort of meal before you go out and when you do go to a restaurant, make sure you look up their menu in advance to make sure that you have some good food choices when you get there. So this is the way you have to view your lifestyle and you have to continue to maintain these habits to ensure that you don't gain all the weight back. One of the other thing you need to continue to do to maintain your results is your overall physical activity. Have a good structured plan around your exercise routine. Most people just go to the gym and they just do whatever they feel like. That doesn't work. If you have a structured plan as to what type of training you're going to do on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Sunday, then you will stick to that plan. One of the most exciting way to make sure that you are exercising during your maintenance phase is to focus on building strength and muscle mass because that is a lot more rewarding than trying to be your skinniest version on the scale. When you try to chase strength at the gym, sticking to an exercise routine becomes a lot more exciting because every week you want to 
push yourself to make sure that you're getting stronger than the previous week. Focus on your longevity and the benefits that you will be getting from having more lean muscle mass on your body and how it's going to overall improve the quality of your life and improve your overall bone density. And eventually it's going to help you increase your basal metabolic rate, which means that you will be able to burn far more calories at rest compared to when you didn't have all that lean muscle mass. So focus on those things because those are the things that are going to help you and continue to motivate you to maintain this lifestyle and these habits. Continue to work on those neat activities. Have a non-negotiable list of your daily step counts. Continue to reach eight to 10,000 steps every single day. If you don't have the time to go for a walk for 30 minutes a day, you can split your walk into 10 mini walks after breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Continue to monitor and adjust. So monitoring is your weight on the scale, your inches around your waist. If you notice that these numbers are going up, then you need to readjust your maintenance calories and continue to monitor your weight to make sure that after you've adjusted your calories, your weight is stabilizing and it's not going up. One of the other ways to ensure that you don't gain the weight back is to focus on your behavioral changes. And that means you need to set realistic goals around your health and fitness. Yes, we all want to stay our leanest as long as possible, but understand that being lean and maintaining that lean look all year round is not sustainable and nor enjoyable. That means you have to sacrifice a lot by eating in a calorie deficit. So that's not the goal of maintenance. During maintenance, you should focus on building the strength and continue to improve your overall body composition by continuing to work on building lean muscle mass. And other thing you need to do is you need to develop a good relationship with food. You need to be very mindful of emotional eating and stress eating. I know that stress is part of everyone's life. And when we go through stressful situation in our life, we tend to lean on food to help us feel better. So you really have to take a step back and possibly find other ways to manage those stress. One of the other things you need to continue to do during maintenance is stay hydrated and make sure that you're getting quality sleep every single night. You need to make sure that you continue to drink plenty of water throughout the day. So make sure you are prioritizing at least two to three liters of water every single day. Drink a large glass of water before each meal to make sure that you don't end up overeating during your meal time. And I cannot stress this enough. I have mentioned this many, many times on my channel before that sleep is extremely critical in terms of losing weight or gaining lean muscle mass or even maintaining your weight. Because when we are sleep deprived, we are a lot more hungrier the next day because of our hormone levels go out of whack and we are less active the next day because of low energy. So sleep is extremely critical in order to maintain a healthy fit body. So if you are the type who is currently not prioritizing your sleep, you would strongly benefit from adding additional one to two hours of sleep each night. One of the other things that you need to do in order to maintain your results is don't be extreme with your dieting. If you find that you are not maintaining your weight and you are in a caloric surplus, don't just jump into decreasing your calories the next day or punishing yourself by starving the next day because those extreme things they're not going to help you lose the weight what that does is when you take away calories all of a sudden your glycogen storages are going down and your water and sodium retention in the body is going down so even though weight on the scale is going down it doesn't mean that you're losing the weight so don't be extreme with your approach if you find yourself in a caloric surplus. Be smart and just go back to your normal way of eating 
whatever you ate the previous day, forget about that. There's nothing you can do about what happened in the past. But what you can do now is continue to move forward and continue to eat better on your next meal. You need to understand that we will never maintain extreme because extreme approaches are not sustainable. And one of the last things you need to do to maintain your results is to stay patient and be flexible. Most people, when they are trying to focus on changing their body composition, they want quick results. Unfortunately, muscle building takes a very, very long time. It takes a lot of patience and consistency, especially for older women, and especially if you are all natural. So make this journey enjoyable and make this journey more sustainable for you. If you can stick to working out three times a week, stick to that schedule and make sure you are committed to that schedule. You need to understand that maintaining a fit body is a long-term commitment and it's a lifelong journey. It never ends. If things are changing in your life and in at one point you were able to work out five times a week, but now things have shifted, you can only work out three times a week, it's okay. Just continue to focus on other things that are in your control. For example, in keeping your neat activity high, going for daily walks, staying hydrated, keeping your sleep in check. And if you can only now train for three times a week, that is completely okay. I hope all the tips I have shared here today will help you on your maintenance journey and help you stay on track after your fat loss phase. If you guys have any questions regarding any of the things that I have mentioned here today, please drop them in the comments below and I would love to help you out. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that every time I upload a video like this one, you will be notified. I hope you're all staying healthy and active. I will see you guys very soon on my next one. Bye.